curious to see if the galaxy map is just showing our expedition route. Yeah. So I guess we'll just follow our expedition route and hopefully we will come across something that this is where our expedition is. Which doesn't look like it lets me go any further. Okay. Let's see if any of these have any ancient bones. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. I sentinel activity. That's not so bad, I guess. So, Pansalil Aizu? Which is a moon? This one here. Perfect, a spot to land and everything. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. One, two, six, twenty-four, one, twenty. Let's see, six times four is twenty-four, twenty-four times five It's one twenty. So one twenty times six. Seven twenty. They crack those pretty easily. Distress call is located here. Oh no, it's on another planet. Or it's about an hour away. Let's go see what the distress beacon is. It is a crashed starship. Park over here. And it looks like burial sites nearby. So I don't really care for another starship. There's also quite a bit of sentinels around here, huh? But I do care for burial sites. Which it seems there's quite a few of them around here. So let's go get those. Go. Excavated three bones so far. Burial site is over here. Don't know about going inside, but I'm going to anyways. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I approach the terminal, but something deep within the complex is malfunctioning. Surfaces feel hot to the touch. Hidden machinery clanks and whirls and alert sounds. Elisa, be fun. Dagiro Chari and Visa Bifung Dang Churu Chari. I don't know what it means. The alarm rings in my ears. The bead of sweat rolls slowly down my forehead. Engage coolant chamber network, activate fusion dampening fields, initiate laser refractor. Well, since it's hot, how about coolant chamber? Numbers on the terminal display begin to stabilize, red flashing symbols morphing into a calming blue array of light. Normal operations have resumed, and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit, extract nanites, create a multi-tool expansion slaughter, learn a new recipe. I'm gonna learn a new recipe. What do you got for me? Oh, out of these. 
Could do Atlas Pass version too. I'll have to get my cadmium again. Did we mark down burial site location? Alright, let's head over there, perched by. So many of these things around here. Another rare. And we did it. We completed all of phase three. Alright. Let's get into our ship. I'm gonna get off this planet. Over to the space station. And before we claim our rewards, I'm gonna just go over here and clear up my inventory space in the exosuit. Alright, let's claim our expedition reward. A supreme mining beam upgrade and a prepackaged optical drill unit. that for a exosuit pre-built wiring package designed to allow easy installation of core technology use X to begin installation a for thin lens array are arranged in a highly calibrated matrix focusing the binding beam on an atomic level this extra precision allows for highly efficient mining elements are extracted more efficiently increasing the yield of the item types with a multi-tool, so yeah, this is for multi-tool. So it's the other thing. They all work together. And since we have completed everything, we can now get the gnawing scuttler companion egg. We gotta go harvest crystal sulfates. Gotta reach a planet with water. Companion register full, that's very true. So this is where we go into our companion register in abandoned Bully. Everyone's trust is at 64%. He's an elderly, too. Fullness, 29%. Sorry, bully. Just don't have the anides to get another slot open. And we hatched the egg. There's our companion. Uh, I don't have processed meat for it, but I will gently pat you. These little things are probably what caused the extinction. Alright. On to our next. On to phase four. We've just got four things to do. We need to find ourselves a water plant. light planet, a hot planet, cabled planet, a hemal planet, verdant planet, and a barren planet. Makes you think maybe I want to go into the galaxy map. Head along our expedition route. Let's see if we can't find something else. 
Oh, that's going to take us right to our um, location that we need to go to. Only two planets here. A barren planet and a rotting planet. All right, let's just do our expedition then. Let me guess, there's giant worms here. Yep. Always giant worms. Oh shit. Rendezvous point way the heck out here. It looks like that's probably Marthus. Yep. Harvesting sodium. Low flow. our rendezvous point. We reached rendezvous four. The MS Ad Hack Haku's Glory. Read log. It is stamp two nine seven five one. Life goes on, day after day. Delivering after sh I hope to go home soon. The life of sh sh is not for one like me. It is stamp 3067.5. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate sh sh dropping out of warp. There. There's the sentinels. Sh sh what are they doing? It is stamp 3010.3. Fighting each other. The Sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. It is M3074.4. The Sentinels have departed their distress signal nearby, broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, we've done that. Salvage materials from the wreck. Log damage partial records available. It's the same thing. My love, I dive into a black hole tomorrow. I know we agreed not to data stamp 3067.5. I warned them about advisable of such a large vessel moving through the rift. But they are arrogant, vain creatures, are they not? Data stamp 3010.3. We emerged into the skies above the anomaly. Reality itself has abdicated here. Vast hexagons litter the landscape of this once proud planet, now become the plaything of an unseen foe. I fear I will not be back home for time. Data stamp 3074.4. We drank the water. My love, forgive me. Completed rendezvous four, which gives us 300 quicksilver, three inventory slots, and a bunch of viscous fluid. Now that that nightmare is finally over, we still have other things to do. Such as harvesting these crystal sulfides, which is our next mission. On phase four. So I guess we just go along our next expedition route. There's everything. 
Oh wow, we can actually reach the fifth expedition route right away. Let's go. Let's get all the expedition routes out of the way then. Miasmic planet, irradiated planet, high temperature planet, ascetic planet, a dusty planet, and an airless planet. These all seem like such lovely places. Phase 5 rendezvous point. Sure. Let's go. Oh, it's on a different planet. It's on that one. It's on the airless one. With aggressive sentinels. Yeah, let's check this place out. Maybe it's got water. I mean, I guess the other thing that I could do is go to the... Actually, it does look like this place does have water. It does. This is a very watery planet. Very ascetic, buttery planet. Um, what does it take to build a base computer if we do not already have one? We have a save beacon. Um, chromatic metals, 30 chromatic metals. Searching cartographic archives, universal archive, a search reveals no prior claims on this site. Sonar test confirms site is con is suitable for construction claim saying remains. It does, we need this. We need salt, metal plating, and crystal sulfides. But to get crystal sulfides, we must go underwater. Oof. Yeah, that thing hurt. Can I get other stuff from it? Cytophosphate and salt. Got things that just are straight and salt. Let's get back to the surface. Now we gotta locate an underwater crashed freighter. Pretty sure we can locate all that here. Alright, what did we get for this? Underwater construction plans and a marine shelter. Underwater crash freighter install the high powered sonar. Yeah. Locate an underwater crash freighter, use the high powered sonar. Scan for crashed fragrance. Sunken wreck detected. Where? Uh, over there. Take us two minutes to get 
to it, apparently. Do I have to take this, though? Can I just... Not fly over there? below. Like that, yeah. Like this. Starship class upgrade, starship inventory slot times five emergency signal scanner. I'm going to use some of those upgrades. Class A ship now. What's our next expedition that we're supposed to do? Uh, to drift through freedom. We gotta go approach the void. We have to do a engine thing. So long, suckers. Back into space we go. flight and gently take my hands from the controls. The ship drifts slowly, uncommanded. There's no danger here. There's no anything here. The beauty that surrounds me is endless, infinite, breathtaking. It is so, so far away. I cannot allow myself to really see it, to let my mind look directly at its terrifying entirety. It is far too big, and I am far too small. But there is nothing else in the universe. I must face it. I let my mind relax, and I try to find my place among the stars. Now we dream. Phase four. We 
get the ship of the damn frequent. Frequent. Frag. Frag. Fragnata. Uh, collect. Hazard protection blueprints pre packaged air burst engine unit. Completed all of phase four. So we get the cursed to row. Ship of damn cursed fragrance. Combat exploration industrial. Pretty nice. Expeditions 35 times damage just keeps going. Eternal life signs absent. Fate doomed to sail forever. Drowned in the stars. Let's add it to our fleet. And there you have it. We've completed phases three and phase four entirely. It took a while to get those ancient bones. And I have a feeling that the next episode next week it's going to wind up being our last. We just have phase five to do, and I've only got five things to do. We're already at the system where the rendezvous point is. Next is just going and doing things. So, I hope you look forward to our series finale, and who knows, maybe the next expedition for No Man's Sky will be out, and then the following week, we just pick right back up with that. The updates to No Man's Sky have been amazing. I don't know if you've seen them yet or checked them out, but I highly recommend going and seeing them. This game's so much fun. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game of No Man's Sky Adrift. Goodbye.